I can remember when Apple discontinued putting floppy disks in their iMac computers. Oh, the hue and cry. But guess what? We quickly learned to do without. This X41 is the first computer that I've had that didn't have a CD or DVD drive. All of my other systems either had a built-in one or I had an external one. So for the first time, I had to set up a system from scratch without using a single CD or DVD. So how did I install all my applications? Well, the web was one of my first resources. If you go to almost any manufacturer's website, you're going to find trialware or limited life versions of their software. Quite often, if you download those trialware or limited life versions, you can enter a real serial number and they become fully fledged installations. That's one way. The other way was using a memory key. This one here is a two gigabyte memory key. And this allowed me to I actually I put this in my old computer with a CD or DVD. I copied that onto the memory key, and then you can take the memory key and install it from the memory key. We'll just go to my computer, open the memory key, and there's the software that I want to install, and I can run it just the same as though it was a CD or DVD in a local drive on the computer. I can run through all the installation, enter my serial number, and we're done. To me, weight and size are very important considerations for my notebook computer. Now, you might use yours for more entertainment-related tasks, and for you, a DVD drive might be essential. But for us lightweight folk, the need for an optical drive is about the same as the old floppy was to the iMac. Not really necessary at all. Now, the three friends I told you about off the top of the show all doing very well with their new notebooks, thank you very much. And they're all benefiting from the security and backup tools. You know, it's good to know that the first support call they make will be hitting the Lenovo Care button on their computer and not my phone number on speed dial. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Dotto Tech.